Ciambella. Oh. Welcome to Rome. Oh. Mm. Oh. Oh. You where this music is playing in every room of the house? I thought you'd be pleased. I hope I'm not interrupting. No, not at all. Uh, that's from it's from Batman. Because that makes it better. <laughs> I mean, this is seriously gonna be the best thing that's happened to this town since since the birth of Lydia Martin. Hey, Lydia. You look like you're gonna ignore me. You remember my brother Ross? Sure. Hey. Oh, Hi, I'm GD Anagonye, and you are my soulmate. Cool. Bring it in, man. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Good stuff. Dwight, let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. Let's... Probably stop staring before it gets creepy, though. Too late. You guys are losers. Hey there, girly. How you doing? Sweating like a pig, actually, in yourself. Now, there's a way to get a guy's attention, huh? My mission in life. I need to have sex with her. Uh, no, that's not what I said. No, 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 you're a genius. I mean, that's the best way to lose interest, right? Wow. She looks pretty. Still pretty? Yeah. Pretty. Really pretty. I grew up with a ton of little sisters and brothers, but it uh, taught me how to focus. Easy there, big brother. She doesn't know you. At least buy her a drink. I'm not smart. What? What, you figure I could I could tutor you or something? You think, oh, well, there's Lainey With Boggs. Lainey. She's a dork. She Lainey. must at least be smart. Well, guess what? I'm not. Do you even know my name, screwboy? No, a lot more than you think. <sighs> doubtful. Very doubtful. I bet you don't know anything about me. You were born in Phoenix. You went to school in Tempe. You're an only child. Your favorite show is something called The Real Housewives of Atlanta. And your favorite book is Kendall Jenner's Instagram feed. You already quit marching band robotics lab. I'm not obsessed with him, I'm just very observant. You and I, well, there is no you and I. There's a professional situation, and I just need you. You need me. The department needs you, because you're the one. I'm the one. I like penne a la vodka. Okay. <laughs> Did you just grab my butt? Yes. Could have just shown us the ascendant to begin with. Yeah, but I wanted to feel your hand on my chest. It's not, not right about him. I mean, it's not used to guys hitting on you. Happy Valentine's Day. I'm the bobblehead. Yes! Ah! Oh! It's for you. I didn't have to do this. You hate it. It's lame. No, I love it. God, you're so pretty. Casey, your jaw was chiseled by Michelangelo himself. I can't find it. I've always thought that we just had this kind of connection. You know, unspoken, of course. Maybe it'd be kind of cool to get to know each other a little better. But do you think it would be okay if I asked you out sometime, maybe? Yeah. Maybe. Okay, maybe I will. <laughs> Hold on, give me a second. I, yeah, I didn't get any of what you just said. Is it worth repeating? Uh, <laughs> no. Would you mind turning around so that I could put on my bathing suit? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm so embarrassed. Mm -hmm. So I thought, why not? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, woo! <laughs> woo! <laughs> <laughs> That's the stupidest thing I've ever had. <laughs> it's about doing something so that the person knows that you really care about her. Okay, I get it. That's great. Her. Okay, shut up. I know exactly what to do. Honey, there's a Styles here to see you. What the hell is a Styles? Uh, even more treacherous than he is attractive. He has never uttered a single word without some dishonorable intention. Every woman he has successfully pursued has regretted it. Stay away from him. Women are like wolves. You have to tame it, care for it, feed it lovingly, the way an animal deserves to be loved. And my animal deserves a lot of loving. You know, out of so many, there's so many other girls in the sea. Fish in the sea. 
fish. Why are you talking about fish? No, that was uh, very sweet. Sweet. Golly gee, thanks for making me feel like I'm eight. <laughs> well, you're not so bad yourself. Please. I'm fantastic. You, with all your morals and values, and you seem to be happy in your choices. I am Vito. What are you hiding, Peter? I'm just kidding, I don't care. Bye. All right, so what's the catch? I'll go if you go. Come on, it could be fun. I would rather die of cholera than spend an afternoon with you. You're so... Charming. Wholesome. Unwelcome? Look, you can't just keep showing up like this. Then you can't keep avoiding me, like the other night. What was that? I was busy. Yeah, busy wigging. I will never, ever, ever sleep with you. Never. OK? Got it? Hang on to get a like this. Maybe we can go to the snowball together. Snowball? It's this cheesy school dance where you go in the gym and dance to music and stuff. I've never been, but I know you're not supposed to go with your sister. <laughs> hey, Jim! Oh, dear. Jack, how do I turn this off? I don't care. I don't want compliments. I will not fall prey to society's desire to turn girls into emotionally insecure neurotics who pull up their dresses the first flattering remark. Well, I think you look beautiful. Really? Are you from Tennessee? No. Because you're the only 10 I see. Oh, you poor soul. Does that actually work? Dance? I don't know how. I don't either. Lydia, get off your cute little ass and dance with me now. Interesting tactic. But it's a good no. I get it. You want to feel new things. Exactly. How's that? Bloody hell, that hurt. Do it again. You're not as mean as you think you are. You know that? And you're not as badass as you think you are. Ooh, someone still has her panties in a twist. Don't for one minute think that you had any effect whatsoever on my panties. Lydia, I've had a crush on you since the third grade. And I know that somewhere inside that cold, lifeless exterior, there's an actual human soul. And I'm also pretty sure that I'm the only one who knows how smart you really are. You know what your problem is? You take yourself way too seriously. I do not. Yes, you do. You should try to lighten up. I am like, can we drop this? You know, I'd, I'd, I'd be myself, and I'd try and make her laugh a little bit, find a common cultural interest, music. Yourself. You think a woman like this could ever fall for a guy like you? Intriguing lady, we are here now. You must go, because I fear if I stare into your beautiful green eyes a moment longer, I will fall in love. Oh, too late. This is a gorgeous, a sophisticated woman, and you're... Passionate and, and sweet and caring. Really? Tall, dark, and caring. What a combo. Nobody wants to know you now. Nobody wants to Mike. show you. Mike, stop. stop. There. Perhaps I've moved too fast. Have you had intercourse before? Thank you. Thank you. I could no, not have done this without you. Okay, um, uh, more clothes in the dryer? <laughs> Two people together who nobody ever thought would be together, ever. No, I can see that. They're cute together. All the time they gave to me. Oh, you spend all your time teaching a charming, awesome lady. How sad for you. Face it, dude. I'm the best thing that ever happened to you. Because guess what, Cheaty? You basic. Well, maybe you're not afraid of me, but I'm sure you've thought about me naked, huh? Am I that transparent? I want you. I need you. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Bo. What? Bo. It's the most perfect word in the world. Italians created it, and I just discovered it. What does it mean? That's the thing. It can mean a million things. It can mean, I don't know, get out of my face. I don't know, and get out of my face. So what's in the bag? Oh, uh, Bo. Nice. Are you smiling? No. No? Will you stop? It's OK. You can laugh. I promise I won't tell anybody. Uh-oh. 
think we're in trouble. <laughs> you kissed her. I did. Ah! It's just a kiss. I'm hardly a schoolgirl. So kiss me beneath the milky twilight. You look really pretty. And therefore I have value? No. No, that's not what I meant at all. I was just... I'm messing with you. <laughs> so how do I look? Good. Yeah, yeah, real good. Red's not really my color, so... Turn the music back on. This place is dead. <laughs> well, you heard the lady. Crank it up! If you're planning on asking me out again, you might as well just get it over. Do you mind? You're kind of ruining this for me. Oh, I'm so very sorry, sir. So very sorry, sir. Well, you dropped as a child from a very great height. I actually, I, I couldn't confirm or deny sir. that. I dump your ass. <laughs> Chuck. Yes, honey. Is this your boyfriend? Wait, you know these people, sweetie? I'm Heather. We all went to high school together. Come on! How long have you two lovebirds been together? Months. Years that add up to years. Did you spy on me? That's totally against the rules. I make my own rules. You're gonna think I'm crazy. Lady, if you trust me on anything, you can trust me on this. There is nothing that you can say to me that'll make you sound crazy. Literally nothing. When I look in your eyes, I see sprinkles, stiff, lifeless body. Then don't look in my eyes. Look right here. It's an old sales trick. I kind of want to do something fun. Then yes. Yes, like you want to go? Yes. So where do you want to go? Who cares? Awesome. OK. Let's go. Does your species like M&Ms? I love you, I think. No, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I love you. Oh, that's embarrassing. I first sort of had feelings for you. <laughs> You've had feelings for me. Yeah, what? So? You had feelings for me first. Whoa. Huh. I have feelings for you, Sebastian. Then, then what's wrong? It's not like you have a husband, unless you're married to Jesus. She said she couldn't be with someone who didn't believe in her. Well, I believed in her. I just didn't believe in me. Dude, you are misquoting the line. Happy birthday! I just want to be friends. Good. Plus a little extra. Also, I love you. You're trying to seduce me. Why are you wearing that outfit? I'm trying to seduce you too, just not clearly as well. Blank makes you crazy, I like the word. Girlfriends? No, 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 not, not girlfriends. Boyfriends. No, 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 no. Having a bit of a disagreement right now and the ball and chain isn't helping. Are you calling me a ball and chain? There's a ball and chain. There's an actual ball and chain here. Do you not? Do you not see this? It's just some stuff I bought. You no, know, for your birthday. For me? Yeah, I just I kind of didn't know what to get you, so I just bought you like a bunch of stuff. A flat screen TV. Or you came knocking on my office door asking for help with philosophy. <laughs> Is that what you think people mean? I don't know how normal people. Mean. <laughs> Even though I know that she loves me, I'm just you know just kind of noting it because I know I know that she loves me. I, I know that. Do you? When my parents would go to a symposium and I would sneak into their office and read the unabridged dictionary. I can't believe I'm attracted to you. I took you up on your advice and I found a dress. Hey. Kelly was right when I put it on, it felt like magic. Get down on the ground before I blow your freaking head off! A long last love has arrived And I thank God I'm alive you're just too good to be true Can't take my eyes off of you You're a hypocrite, and I don't associate with hypocrites. How am I a hypocrite? Oh, please, Annette, you spend all your time preaching about waiting for love. Well, here it is, right in front of you, and you're gonna turn your back on it. I don't really have much luck when it comes to getting close to people. Um, so I lied. I wasn't just watching you because I thought you were Spider-Man. Tony.
tonal language for us that only we understand. Get out of here. And right now, she's... She's saying she loves me. Or she's planning on buying a Buick. I can't really tell. <laughs> you gotta know if your man wants to propose. <laughs> He'd have done it already. Fact. <laughs> <laughs> Remember? Yeah, because I was mad at you, not because I stopped loving you. You still love me? No. Do you have something for me? Do I have something for you? Would you like something from me? I, not that. So can we please just come up with a new plan because I love her and I can't lose her again? What's going on? I feel just like Julia Roberts, a pretty woman. You know, except for that whole hooker thing. Lydia, you're so smart, I could kiss you right now. Do not kiss me. Not gonna, not... <laughs> Did it anyway! I'm impressed. Well, I'm in love. <laughs> like anybody really pays attention to you. Ouch. Except for me. Oh, I'm supposed to have an envelope with my gun in it. I don't have a gun. I am just aroused from looking at you. Oh, are you here to punish me? This is kind of hot. <laughs> 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 What are you doing here? What, are you doing? what is it? Well, it's the bullet from when you shot me, remember, in the warehouse? Oh. Well, I thought since I never likely penetrate you, I'd commemorate the one time you penetrated me. <laughs> <laughs> Take thee, Emily. Take thee, Rachel. <laughs> Emily. <laughs>